This tutorial is to discuss about a C program to find a number is Armstrong number or not. Let us discuss what is an Armstrong number. An Armstrong number is a number which is equal to the sum of digits raised to the power total number of digits in the number. Example, the all single digits number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 153, 370, 371 etc. Let us see how we are calculating for a three digit number, which is 153. In 153, the total number of digits present in the number 153 is three. So we have to calculate each digit raised to three and find the sum. So one raised to three plus five raised to three plus three raised to three, which is equal to 153. So the original number 153 and the calculated result both are same then we can say that it's an Armstrong number. Let us see a four digit number, 1634. So in the four digit number, the number of digits present in the number is four. So during the calculation, we have to calculate the sum of each digits raised to four. So we calculate one raised to four plus six raised to four plus three raised to four plus four raised to four, which is again equal to one, six, three, four. So the calculated result is equal to the original number and we can say that it's an Armstrong number. Let us see the C program to find an enter number is Armstrong or not. For doing this particular program, we use the number of variables. We are using the variable n and num for storing the number. D is for getting each digits from the number and TOT is used to store the calculated total result required for the computation of Armstrong or not. And LEN is total number of digits present in the user entered number. The TOT and LEN is initialized as zero. By using a printf and scanf statement, we accept a natural number from the user and the same number which is stored in the variable n will get also stored into the variable num because during the computation of finding number of digits present in the number and during the calculation the value of n will drops to zero so that is why the value of n is already preserved in another variable num first we are using a while loop to compute how many number of digits present in the number so in order to calculate we are doing a while loop and checking whether the value of n is not equal to zero. So as long as the value of n is not equal to zero, we keep on dividing the value of n by 10. So n is equal to n by 10. So each time when the number get divisible by 10, we increase len by one. So len will store how many number of digits are present in the variable n. After the computation of the number of digits present in the number, write the logic to calculate whether the number is an Armstrong or not. So we retrieve the value of the variable n from num and write the logic inside another while loop. So to find the logic, we have to extract each digit from the number. So to get the digit from the number, we use the modulus operator. So d equal to n modulus 10. Then the each digit we have to find raised to the number of digits present in the number. So the number of digits present in the number is stored in the variable len and the digit is in the variable d. So in order to find out the raised to value, we are using pow function, power function, which is there in math.h header file. So the new total value will get added with power of the digit raised to the length of the number. So power d comma len. d is the one digit and len is the number of digits present in the number. So it is successively get added each digit raised to length of the number into the variable tot because the new n is calculated as n divided by 10. So the loop will keep on repeating each time it will extract a digit and find out power after the completion of the loop, we check whether the original number which is stored in the variable num is equal to the computed results stored in the variable tot. If both are same, we 
print the result as the number is an Armstrong number, otherwise we print the result as the number is not an Armstrong number. Execute and see the program output. When we enter a number 153, we can see that it's printing as an Armstrong number. We are entering another number, which is 1634. So that is also showing that it's an Armstrong number. Thank you for watching this tutorial.